important to keep the braid out. Just creep that braid over to him. Take it. Yep. <laughs> so it's just using a little atomic curl tail today. Just sight fishing these big carp along the creek. Now what it basically did, I just spotted him feeding down on the corner. And uh, cast out so he couldn't hear the lure hit the water. Come on, buddy. And I just wound it about six inches under the water just so there was a leader line in the rubber. And just wound it across to him. And then when I got about six inches of water, I just dropped it. I started lifting it up and down until he turned on it. The, the, the one structure they work for is the weed bed. I'm just gently feathering this drag. He's turning in circles there. He should start coming my way now. He's got himself in that weed, but no, he's out again. Taking my time here. I got him in a little open pocket. I'm not. I'm not going to let him get into those weeds. But at the same time, I'm not going to come to him. Not yet. I see. I've just got my finger on this spool, so it's like just a tiny little brake system here. And I feel like he's just putting too much pressure on. I take my finger off. I'm virtually just feathering it. Now I'll come to him. Start to use the rest of the rod. No, mate, around this way. Around here. We've won the battle, I think. This one's quite a red one. Red and gold, I think. When you look at my favourite bass lures, which I'll be using in a minute, that's the colour. Little baby ones of them. And he keeps fighting. As much as I just want to drag him in, I know I can't. Just the sheer weight of him won't let me with this outfit, so I need to just keep working. And I've got just a little number four uh, jig hook with unweighted in the plastic. And the thing about these hooks is they just they they set roll in. It's impossible for him to get it out. I struggle to get them out when I catch the fish. So. It's just a, a matter of wearing him out, keeping him in this area where I think I can, like this is the arena. If I let him get up in there, I'm in trouble. And earlier in the fight, if he went down the river, I would have been in trouble too, because we been jumping across all these rocks and around this. I'm just going to tighten that drag up a touch more. These drags are so responsive. I've won the battle, but now I've just got to wear him out. So I'm just that, that push that every tail pump. That's just it's just a sign of oh, I've won the battle. Now, I, I think as far as the sport fish goes, take 
the kids down a creek. Chasing these guys. This is dragging on. I'm going to try and land him because I really come down here to get this one. That's so I just couldn't resist it when I seen these carp swimming pumps. He's gone now. your moment you had a chance there buddy now they're so big they're so slippery one thing I'm starting to work out with them is you do have to handle them there's a piece there right in here the gill bit that's the bit you gotta keep holding like a football Sliding up here, and then when we get up here, we're just gonna put a hand in our gills there, like that. And there you have it one nice, beautiful gold cup. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs>